What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, I'm going to show you how to install the Touch Edition. Uh, so basically, long story short, we do have an external hard drive in our hand. Somebody sent in their hard drive, and basically this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to take the files from your hard drive and make the Touch Edition work on your PC. Um, so again, quick background, this is going to a Mr. C. He messaged me on Facebook or Instagram. I don't really remember, but he did want the Touch Edition. Um, keep in mind, this file is about maybe 300 gig big. Um, so he bought a one terabyte hard drive. They're very cheap, like 50 bucks. Uh, he sent it to me. I'm basically putting all the info on the hard drive. And now this is a tutorial on how to make everything work. Before this tutorial starts, you have to keep in mind that nothing is ever plug and play. It never is. Um, this setup is going to take you about 30 to an hour, 30 minutes to an hour to completely get this thing working. Again, I wish it was easy, but unfortunately, it's never easy. So just keep that in mind. But let's go to the desktop. Let's do some basic stuff. So now real quick, when we start this, it's up to you on if you want to have your hard drive or the files on your C drive, or if you want to leave it as an external. Either way, you will need to do these steps no matter what, but it's entirely up to you on how you want to do it. If you do want to put these files on your C drive, the only ones you really have to copy over is this touchscreen file uh, folder, I should say. Um, you literally right-click, copy it, and just put it on your C drive. Literally go to C and then just paste it right here. So if you are going to do that route, paste it there. Let's start with the basics. Once you plug in the hard drive, you're going to see it's labeled Touch Edition. Um, I always set the files to the G drive. Um, sometimes if you plug in your, your hard drive, it might go into the D drive or the E drive. I usually go a couple of letters past that, past the D drive, I should say, and I have it set to the G drive. So the first things first, if this is not reading G, I'll show you how to change it. You go to your search bar and you literally look up Disk Manager or Disk Management. And you're going to see there it says Create a File. Um, or uh, let's see, one more time, I just want to show you, I went too fast. Create and format hard disk partitions. You'll click on that and it'll literally load up disk management. You go to the hard drive, you right click on it, change the drive letter, you press change, and then you will come here to the drop down menu and change it to the right letter. So again, I have it set to the G drive. And basically once you're done, you're gonna press okay, you'll press okay, and you're set. First set is done. We're gonna go into the actual hard drive now and you're gonna see a couple of folders here. The main ones really are these two right here, which is the must install and the touch screen. Um, there are a couple of programs you have to install, that's a must. So let's go into the must install folder. First one is WinRAR, always download that, it's always good to have in your computer. That's the extractor for some programs or games, I should say, that are needed. Um, the AIO runtimes, I'll be honest, I took this from Aladdin's um, drive. Remember, that's how I started my drive. It was in his folder, just download it. Or I should say, just install it. Um, number three is the EDO video codec. From what I've seen that this thing does is that it makes the Shockwave player on the front end work. Um, so install it. The next one up is gonna be in, is this 150 Game House Game Packs. Um, I basically um, extracted it um, for you, Mr. C, so you don't have to worry about that, but I have it here. Um, basically this is some, of, this is some of the pop cap games. Um, when you go into it, you're going to see, you go into CD one and you run the setup. Big thing is that you do want to remember where this is going. Um, you could leave it where it is now in this program files thing. In all, in all honesty, we're going to be taking that out. Um, we're going to be removing it from the C drive or wherever you're going to put it. So just, it's a good thing to keep in mind where it is. You go next on it, it's going to install games, and then it's going to ask you to insert disk two. Uh, it'll basically give you like a line. You go to the folder, and then you basically go into this 150 game house CD2, and then you press the bin, and then you'll be set. That'll be installed. Uh, next one up is BlueStacks. You definitely need to install that. So you double click it, you run it, and you know, let it do its thing. Let it also put the executable on the desktop, meaning let it create a shortcut because we do need the executable. The pinball FX stuff, you don't need to extract. Um, some files, for some reason, sometimes don't transfer over 
um, when I transfer, such as the steam.dll file. So basically, this is just a zipped up in case it didn't transfer. You don't have to touch these. Uh, but start with the basics there. And then once you're done, proceed to the next one. So now real quick before we proceed, remember what I said before about the game house, the 150 that we just installed? This is a very key thing we have to do real quick. Um, basically, you're going to locate where the file was installed. So for me, it, it installed it on the F drive. Yours is not going to be set up that way. But basically, it's going to make this game house games collection. Most likely on yours, it's going to be under your C drive, program files, and then you're going to see somewhere here is going to say this game house games collection. Again, it's either under program files or program files x86. Basically, you go in this file here, and you're going to see this whole entire list of games. It's very important that you basically take all these. You select all, so control A. You're going to either cut. I like to copy it first just to make sure. You're going to right-click copy all of these. You're going to go into our touchscreen folder, which again, that's on our touch edition hard drive, touchscreen, games. And then you're going to go into the pop cap. And while you're here, you're going to right click paste. And when you do press paste, it's going to ask you, do you want to overwrite these files? You're going to press yes. Make sure you do this step or else it's going to leave your games as far as these games here in trial mode uh, basically after two times you play it it won't work so this step must be done um again it's literally going to say hey do you want to replace these files because they're named exactly the same you're going to press yes you must press yes on it so here's what you're going to see you're going to literally see here it's going to ask you do you want to replace these files you're going to press yes be sure you press yes don't press skip press yes okay once all this is said and done, we could then delete it from the program files. But for right now, again, let's just leave everything be and let it rock. So again, you're going to press yes on that. Once you got that, we're going to go back into our main kind of hard drive. We're going to go into the touch screen. This is honestly where everything is. We have the games folder. We have the apps folder, which I don't think totally will work with your blue stacks. Unfortunately, you will have to reinstall the APKs. But you can at least see some of the games that I had and you can re, you know, look them up. Honestly, these are all free games on uh, the Google Play Store. Um, second one here is all the games. So this is literally all the game files and such. Um, this jukebox, I named that song. I didn't configure it. It came with um, the Simple Touch software. I didn't have time to play with that. If you want to play with it, go ahead there. there. Um, but the main thing here is this STFE. Um, this is where the whole front end is and all that. There's really only mainly two or three things we have to look here. And this basically now is going to get into um, a more advanced kind of setup. So the main thing on this folder is basically there's an FE config. This is basically what's going to let us configure um, all the games and such. You will have to do this no matter what. It, this is going to be a main kind of program we're going to see. And you have the STFE program. That's the actual front end program. Okay. Just real quick while I'm here, because I kind of started it. Um, we could see that some of the games that you could see here, they're empty. There's no artwork, which again, this is where I'm going to teach you how to get all this working. Basically, it's going to look like this when you first plug it in. And once we get everything configured, it's going to look like this. So let's get to it. First thing you're going to do. You're going to go to this config folder thing right here. And basically, these are all the config folders um, that is set up for this STFE program. Um, it's, going to be, it's going to sound weird, but you're actually going to delete everything here. Not the actual folders. You're going to actually go into each folder, and you're going to control all, so control A, and then you're going to press the delete key. You're going to do this from the configure 1 to 10. I know it sounds weird, but again, this all depends on where you're setting up the main file. This right now, and all in all, when we have this you know, set and done, it will work basically right off of the G drive. If you do decide to get it to the, to the C drive, you could also do that. But either way, we have to do this. So as you can see right here, like my 7, 8, and 9, and 10, you're literally going to go up to 10, because once you go to 11, there's nothing here. 
um, you have to just go into each folder and delete everything that's in it. Long story short, it's going to duplicate your games. You don't want that. Once you have that deleted, you're going to go back into the FE config. Real quick while we're in this, you're going to see here the lineup here. The configures 1 through 10 is exactly how I have the games folder set up. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to go to auto insert games. And as you can see, here, there's a couple things we have to do here. So we're going to configure first number one. So we're going to click this little folder here. We're going to go into our hard drive. We're going to go into the touch screen, the games. And then here, like I said, this is the, how the lineup is. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll talk about pinball later on, but let's go slow. So we're doing number one, which is trivia. You're going to click on the main folder. That's just trivia, not an actual game folder, just the trivia one. And then here, as you can see here, this image folder, we have to do this to attract. So trivia is the first one, configure one. Basically, you're going to press the start button and let it do its thing. Don't double click it. Just press it one time. And there you go. So right now, basically, it just auto populated all the games for our first folder, which is trivia. Let's keep going. We're going to go to configuration two. So make sure we're under two. We're going to go to our folder. And now we're going to make sure it goes to the number two, which is fun. Same thing. Leave a track. Press start. And boom. We're basically going to do this for basically the next four. So again, we're going to go to config three. We're going to put the folder three, which is card games. A track is already there. And you press start. Good. Keep going. Let's go to number four. Which is Word. We press start. Number five. Casino might take some time because there's a lot of games in Casino. Again, Casino five. We press start. Again, I'm going to basically get you guys, get you through this auto start one first. Okay. Next one, let's keep going. Number six is going to be the pinball. I'm sorry, it's not going to be pinball. It should be actually the big fish games. Um, we're going to click on big fish. We're going to press OK. And we're going to press start. Yeah, big fish. So it's big fish pop cap. Next, we're going to go to number seven, which is going to be PopCat. We're going to do that. We press start and let it do its thing. So, again, same thing Big Fish, PopCat. There's a lot of games to it, but you have to follow this structure here. PC pinball. Next one, we're going to go to number eight, which should be the PC game. Next one, number nine, is going to be pinball. So on pinball, we're actually going to do just one of them, which we're going to do like, we could do pinball FX2. So now for number 10, we're actually going to leave it blank. I'll guide you through the steps because that's going to be the blue stacks. That's it. We're done here. Let's go back to the game. And basically now we have some stuff that is auto-populated. Um, in all honesty, from 1 to 4 or 1 to 5, I should say. Yeah, from 1 to 4, this stuff is set. There's a couple things you have to do, but all the video files are set. It's got even where the game executable is. Which, again, that's where, you know, the big reason is, you know, are you using it on the C drive or the G drive? Um, five, six, and so on. Some of it needs work, but not too much work. It's really simple. Um, let's do real quick, just to knock it out. Let's get the pinball out of the way. We're going to click on this side here, config nine. And we're going to go back here to add. Uh, the game display name, it doesn't really matter, but we're going to do pinball FX2. You could type anything, but remember, this is the name that's going to show up on the front end. 
Um, so we got that. Let's add another one, which is pinball FX3. And basically now under pinball FX2, we have to go to the game executable. We have to point out where this game is. So again, I'm going to go into my touch edition, my games, FX2, and then we have the application here for FX2. As far as here now, this is the image for it. Um, we're going to click on this box. And I have here a folder called Attract. And then you can just double tap the picture, and then we're there. Let's do Pinball FX3. We're going to go to the folder. So again, Pinball FX3 is highlighted. Folder, Games, FX3, FX3. Same thing here, we're going to go into this blank space. You click it, and Attract, and the picture. Awesome. Perfect. For real quick. Before anything, when you are going through the configs, you do want to make sure you're pressing the Save Settings buttons before you exit. Make sure you do it or else your, your time has been wasted. So um, as you can see right here, um, you know, I just did the pinball effects. I didn't press Save. It didn't save anything. So just be sure that when you are doing this, um, you kind of want to you know, put it. And it's always good to just quickly hit Save Settings. This way it saves. Um, I can't stress that enough. Be sure to save it. All right, guys. So for number ten, number ten is to be blue stacks. This might be a little bit not difficult, but you have to find your executable for blue stacks. Um, so the big thing is that you're going to go to configure ten. We're going to go to add, and we're going to type out blue stacks. Doesn't matter how you spell it, but again, this is what's seen on the front end underneath the picture of it. Um, so if you do blue stacks, you press OK, and the big thing again here, you're going to go to your folder, and now we have to locate. The executable to it so it might be under your C drive with the program files some people say you could actually run it inside the desktop wherever the executable is and again you want the actual executable to it locate it, and then you're gonna put it right there as far as the picture on this you're gonna click on the picture and you're gonna go back into the touch edition touchscreen games and it's actually right here this blue stack so you can see here's the shockwave video and there you have it. So blue stacks is set. So we have blue stacks set and we have pinball FX set. The PC games are already set. Luckily, as you can see, all the files are there. The executables are already set. This is easy. Honestly, this is a very simple setup. The other thing that you might have to kind of fix is sometimes the pictures um, don't transfer over correctly. As you can see, there might be one there. Um, if it is, you could literally, let's say, like, we're going to look at this say, uh, Siege Saga one. You click on the picture, and basically, we're underneath the PC game. So we're going to go to Touch PC Games, and you're going to find the game here. And you should basically find a image file, a JPEG. So if I double-click the JPEG, I go up and I go down, we're there. So this is all set now. PC Games is easily set. You might have to just fix that one picture. Um, as far as PopCap and the Big Fish games, not much tinkering to do because the executable is already located. It's very easy. Um, again, that's what's great about this front end is that it automatically locates the executable. Anything that ends with .exe, it located it. So, um, for example, let's do number seven, which was the PopCap. Um, we're just going to click on the first one and then using the keyboard, just use your down arrow. And we're basically going to make sure that the pictures are there. Uh, basically, with the pictures, that it, it finds any JPEG that's in the folder for a picture. Um, so some of the games, I know there's going to be like five or six that won't have the right picture. That's because in that folder, there's actually like three JPEGs, and it picked up the wrong one. So as you can see right now, we're good. You're going to definitely see one. Like, there you go. See this, like, Game House? That's not the one that we want. So we're on the dictionary. We're going to click on this picture. We have to locate that game now. So we're going to go into Games. We're going to go into, right now we're working on PathCat. We're going to look for Chictionary. And as you can see here, see there's a load screen and then Chictionary. So usually it's the one, I named it as the game title. So if you double click it, now you got the right one. So basically, again, you're going to have to go through, you know, you could real quickly do it. I'm pressing down arrow real quick. It's not much. See, there's one. Inspector Parker. So again, games, PopCap, because that's what we're under. We're going to look for Inspector. And there's three of them, as you can see here. So if I kind of zoom in, I would do this one. Yep. 
definitely I, I named it as the actual program game. So you'll be able to easily find it kind of quickly. So as you can see here, see we have two pop caps. We don't want this. So we're under Mahjong Escape Ancient China. So games, pop cap, Mahjong Escape Ancient China. And here, let's see, you could do either one. Uh, let's do the 2044. And there you go. So again, there is some tinkering to do, but basically you're going to go down the line and you want to adjust your pictures. You want to make sure they look good. So, um, you know, anytime you kind of see that, well, this ROM, this actual ROM one shouldn't even be here. Uh, we're actually going to delete that. So basically, again, you're just going to go down the list and, you know, you're going to find just to make sure all the pictures are there. Okay. Same thing you do for Big Fish. I know uh, that's number six. I know that there's going to be a couple that you might have to adjust. Um, but again, all in all, these are easy. The executables are set. That's done. Literally nothing to worry about on that. For the casino, casino is also set. It's not that drastic. The only thing that we have to work on, as you can see, like there's a couple of pictures missing. Again, you literally just click on it. You go to games. We're under casino right now. And the name of the game was Game of Gods. So IGT. Let's see, Game of Gods, and you'll basically find a JPEG, and now it's good, okay? The only big thing I do know for a fact that it might be a pain is the real deal. Um, you basically want to kind of look at this executable file, and uh, it's not the slot quest. Those are set. Um, not that. Second volume. Yeah, it's like like this one here. Uh, I can already tell because it's an uninstall. That's going to be one. Let's go down the list just so it makes it easy for you guys. Um, Real Deal had like one folder called Online Casino, and then it had like eight games in it. So that's like the one thing. So we're going to do the second volume real quick. I'm going to click on this folder. We're going to go into Casino, and we're going to see here. If I can, real quick, just to see what's up here. So, real deal slot second volume is the folder name. So, casino, real deal slot second here. And then in this type of game here, we have to go to bin. And as you can see, it's right here real deal slots. Done. Let's do the next one. Same thing, we have to fix the picture. Um, so, let's see. I'm in real deal. There's a picture. See, so it's inside that game folder. Let's keep going. See, we're going to do it together basically. So, second volume, Nickel Alley. So, same thing. We're going to go into this. We're going to get out of this. Oh, it's actually in already this Nickel Alley bin. And it's here. Let's do the next one. Let's see. Yep. See, this uninstall. So, click this folder. Nickel slots is here. Bin. Real deal. Good. World Tour. This one looks good. And it's not. Okay, good. This Again, like I said, it's only for real deal. As you can see here, it's pointing to a... Let's see. It might actually have worked on it. Let's see if I can launch it. No. So this one's not here. Um, basically, what we have to do is that if you click on this folder, it shows you the shortcut. So right click on this, go to properties. And this again, you're going to see exactly what I was talking about with this online casino. See, so the real game is located here. Games 5 Casino. It's called Phantom. Phantom EFX. So you can literally slide this over. We can go here, so Casino. And again, I know there's like four or five games like this. We have to go to Phantom. And just keep going with this. So Online Casino. So we're here, Online Casino, Bin, Real Deal Adventure World Tour. So as you can see, these games right here, there's the list of games that we have to basically fix. Let me adjust the screen. So we're doing right now the World Tour, and it's there. So again, Real Deal had it like it's in this one folder and there's five different games. So you're going to want to double check that. So World Tour, Adventures, I'm very sure we have to fix. 
So if I click on it, you see it opens up this with a shortcut. Um, I already know where it is. It's basically this phantom EFX online casino. Again, you just right click on it on the properties, you know, find it. So this is what adventure. So here we go. So Real Deal Casino 2007, same thing. You click on this folder, you see the shortcut, right click properties, it'll load up the little window. And now we have to find this. So again, it's under this EFX, so Phantom EFX, Online Casino, bin, Real Deal Casino 2007. Again, it's just a real deal. So I'm not gonna waste your time too much on it, um, but I know that there's definitely you know, as you can see, about seven or eight of them that you have to locate. Uh, but again, it's just, you literally go to the game, click on the win on the folder, it'll give you the shortcut. In all honesty, this is made so that it makes the file and the picture is there. So that's honestly why that's all there. Um, but that's only honestly the really big headache as far as casino wise. Once you get it all set up, um, I think it's this one, the Real Deal Casino 2007. It asks for a CD, that might not work. It may or may not work. So just keep in mind, one of, the, one of these will not work. Now that you got the easy stuff out of the way, next is kind of the pain stinking, like, I don't wanna say difficult. It's gonna take you about maybe 15 to 20 minutes to get these done. Um, so again, one to four is the Aladdin files. These are like the actual touchscreen um, emulator files. Um, basically what we're missing on each game, it's on every game you have to do this, is that it's basically missing this pre-game executable. Basically it's missing the emulator. It found the game, but it doesn't have the emulator. So I'll show you a couple real quick. So we're gonna do the word ones real quick. Uh, we're gonna do the first one, which is bookworm. So it found the executable, that's great. We have to go to the, the we have to set up the emulator. So you click on the folder here for pre-game. And now we're going to go into games. We have to locate this bookworm game. So it's the word game, bookworm. And you're basically going to see here, anytime you see this it box, EMU, that's what you want. Now the game will launch. So you have to do this for each, each game. It's only from one to four. So it's about maybe 250 games. You have to do it though. There's no real way to kind of get by it. So buzzle, you click the folder. Word, we're in Word, Puzzle, it pops. Coca-Cola, Word, Coca-Cola, it pops. So again, there are different emulators on each game, but it's pretty easy how you could see it. Basically, again, you have the game, and then we have the emulator. And once you have, you just do this one time, and then you're set and you're golden. Just make sure you're going down the list with the right ones. So hex. And as you can see, you see like Indie Sim. You just want to make sure you're not picking the same game. Like the, the game EXE, you don't want to put that. So we're in the uh, Lovitz. So Indie, Spelvin, you click the folder, Word. See, like this one has like one or two of them. I usually go with the number two, like the second one. It doesn't really matter, but either one of them will want it. Like I'm. This is, again, is the only kind of thing that will be a headache. Um, if you want, for example, like this one had two emulators, you could always push this play button and it will basically real quickly test out the game just to make sure it launches. So as you can see, we launched. Don't worry about the spazzing on the screen. It's just my Elgato spazzing out. It's not the actual game. So honestly, once you get all that done, you literally could launch STFE and you are literally set and ready to play. Um, that's honestly the gist of it, guys. Again, you do need, it does need some tinkering, but you do have all the files that you need uh, within the hard drive. So VicVP, GameCase Arcade, the Touch Edition, you could send me your hard drives and I'll send you the files.